Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Iken and today we're continuing our journey into the blend playthrough of Legendary Difficulty. Time for another scavenging site and we're fighting against the pure, which uh, are well armored, so we gotta make sure that we're not botching it. Certainly the C team uh, is not best suited to fight against them. Uh, we got that turret here, which weighs quite a bit, so less medkits and a little bit less ammunition. What we need is the ability to grab a lot of stuff and move out of there without problems. Uh, second med kit, not a bad idea for NC Win Wait, uh, NC Wincy will be the one with Rocket Jump who is collecting stuff. So, <clears throat> maybe less ammunition, a free backpack. The Zeus, gr uh, Zeus grenade actually would help against uh, the enemies, so I like that. We go in with a little bit less shotgun ammunition. Uh, this one is okay, although Backbiter could theoretically uh, be the one who's carrying a lot as well. Let's free up the backpack. Which means we're not ready for a <coughs> sustained long fight. But we would very, uh, be very ready to collect stuff. Craig will not be able to collect it, so... Really, we need quick... Um, quick soldiers. Which... Which we do have uh, with a Dash here a rocket jump here and typically the infiltrator can go in without a problem by themselves as well <coughs> sorry apologies for that let's deploy the squad all right we landed let's take a look two crates near us <coughs> two crates three crates pretty far away mm. Not really happy with that, but what are we supposed to do? Can't wait. This is one of those missions which could become quite difficult quite fast. Already there. So we got a turret there. In terms of just looting, Let's show what we can do. Keen Eye does have not a lot to carry, so maybe we can actually use him to loot one like of the near crates here. Here comes the Phoenix. Ooh, really good loot. Really good loot. I like it. We got definitely a crate up there, which I think, given that you would need to go all around here, the jetpacks are the Ready. much, much better solution. Incy moves up. definitely looking at a variety of um, of ammunition here but nothing like ground shattering good I wonder if we can somehow sprint and get that over there oh boy. tell you what if we could 
do that with our um, with our assault. Just go over here and essentially start to loot. I think these here are a bit off limit. They are too far away. There is an exit here, so one could make an argument that you can move back. Can't really overwatch all too uh, too long. Ready. Good. Our sniper takes a good position over here. Kyle will loot next turn, so we're fine. And we. The actual looter could also be our infiltrator by thinking about it. Advancing. Has a decoy. Is currently invisible, so we should be fine. Of course, the pure are quite heavily armored. And with them having snipers and so on, uh, not sure if that's a great idea. Receiving. We are still hidden, and we might be hidden as long as we're not shooting Ready anyone. To go to work. So, let's take that stuff here. Definitely take the laser rifle, which is fantastic. Definitely take that for, for the fight here. Hmm. And since we're so heavily overloaded, Moving in. I'll be using the time to actually move back. So, heavy, heavy sniper. Try to aim and get the, um, and get the gun. Of the heavy. Target hit. Break double tap. Good. It's trying to hit them. Third retrieval uh, costs two points. Hate to do it, but I think I play. I misplaced it. Move into coordinates. Full cover here. Getting ready for the exit zone. Half cover with Incivinci. Running up a shot. Okay, well, not the most <coughs> glamorous turn. I think it was okay. These guys are just ultra hard to uh, to battle. Are 
we spotted out? Yeah, we were spotted out. No, we're not spotted out. We're still hidden, right? Yep, we are. Next turn, I'll grab it and we'll get out. Good, let's... Hmm. Good question. I mean, look, we can overwatch, right? And that guy is running into it. And we'll just... Must focus try to kill him missed that's it i'm dead out here what the hell <sighs> not good overwatching deploying our turret this time for real and remote controlling it Here. I've got this. We're just hitting armor, nothing else. Good. What I need you guys to do is. Just hold on coming. for another round or two, if you can, and the infiltrator will get more stuff out of here. He fills in neural disruption so that no one can use special abilities. Okay, fair enough. They are coming closer and closer. Which again, we would, uh, would be expecting, right? Traitor moves out. What's our plan? Okay, you have hidden yourself well behind the crates. Taking action. What does this uh, grenade do? EMP 60 blast radius. I don't know what EMP does, but I would like to find out. So let's, let's just test this. it. We looted another one, and I think we can already produce them. Surprisingly underwhelming. But maybe he cannot use his arms anymore. You really need to be specced into grenades in order to make them somewhat work. Aiming. He's now panicked, I think. I'm ready. So how does that turret work? Character stays and doesn't have enough action points. Okay, so... Okay, I see. Retrieving the turret. Movement. 
Again, not a really oh, glamorous boy. play here. But all we need They're to do is defend past, at the moment. Whilst we're getting uh, the latest loot. He should not be able to do anything. Sniper is the only one that is moderately dangerous. Okay, well they took away our cover, now things have changed. Catch me if you can. Good. Now is the perfect time to say thank you. Let's go. It's been an enjoyable ride, but we don't need more broken bones, lost ammunition, or anything. We're just going to evacuate, and backbiter is going to leave with us. <laughs> So EMP disables them for one round, which is not particularly great. Wait, what? They literally just destroyed the, the entire tree with a single shot. Whatever that technician has, I want to have it as well. Time. All right, see you later, guys. Out of here. So we killed uh, two of them and actually completed uh, the mission with three crates, which is okay. I still think that they are, uh, they would have been stronger uh, than our troops in a straight-up fight, so there is no point in fighting this out. And unless you do have grenades to, like with a grenade launcher, to just get rid of all of their, um, all of their defense, I don't see how you how you would go about it. And what I mean with defenses is really that uh, they do have 40-ish armor in each um, slot. And unless you do have grenades or the Gauss technologies that are, have a lot of shredding, or your having something that deals acid damage, because apparently they are um, vulnerable against uh, that, at least my soldiers are, so I assume they are even more. So unless you can abuse that fact, it's going to be pretty tough to just go through them. Think about it, we had killed one heavy. At the point when we were uh, leaving, one heavy was exposed and was literally standing in the middle of our camp, so he would potentially have died next round. And then there was at least one more, uh, one more heavy. So two heavy were, uh, were alive, one technician, two snipers. So that's five. Plus they would have gotten reinforcements every single round. Um, and even if it's just one every single round, um, that is as much as we can like fight through realistically. Um, yeah, not a hundred percent sure that that would have uh, worked out very well. Good, we're putting this in here. <coughs> Slightly overloaded, but I think we're fine. Oh, wait a second. We had to level up. Uh, restores 10 hit points and 10 armor to all body parts <coughs> of the selected target. That's the only way of, dis uh, of re um, regaining disabled body parts, which would be fantastic. I like that. It would give him more offensive power mounted weapon proficiency um, yeah I think we're going for that 
This one is great as well. Six will points. I totally like the class. I, I can definitely see how that is going to be a very strong class going forward. Okay, cool. Not yet leveled up. Not yet leveled up. Not yet leveled up. Not yet leveled up. So yeah, Manticore 3, our uh, third team crew, is actually doing uh, reasonably well. Uh, we got out of it what we wanted. Um, somehow did have the feeling that we were lacking tech and wanted to build something important but I might have been just plain wrong. So we do have one active Pandorian structure over here. Good, we're going to... Why are we actually going here? Um, it's been a while, so... Everybody was shattered. Okay, I see. We wanted to get up, heal, and then get back down and kill the structure. That's fine. In the meantime, I think... We could very much just trade a little bit here. Yeah, and that's a good idea. Haven Info, we wanted to recruit another priest, yes please, and we put them into Frozen Circuit. Trading four for six. And I know I've seen that we had another technician here, which I also want to get. So a trade here. Um, nine for two, not good enough. Research complete. Trade here. Four for six. That's good. Why can't we explore? Oh, because you need people on board. I see how it is. I see how it is. Um, Good, we're trading everywhere. Personal in Manticore 4. Uh, we got a couple of uh, people here born in the USA. I think for now, maybe a higher level, a high level soldier who's already level three can help us. I think we only need one soldier. Besides, let me just check something, our containment facility. We could always harvest for more food. Two 
249, 249, we're not going to do that. Now we can start to explore. For 12, that's exactly what we want to do. Okay, let's do that. We still want to get up here, so can't really fly too far away. Fort Locke is home to Dr. Ramon P. Jacob, leader of the New Jericho uh, Taxonomy Pro uh, Project. In addition to being a brilliant scientist, Dr. Jacobi also claims to have invented the term uh, Pandoran as a descriptor for the creatures that have threatened our world before the people just called them monsters or mutants or even aliens, he says. But that is really rather missing the point, isn't it? Anyways, Dr. Jacobi says, that is not what I want to talk about. Actually, I want to make you an offer. You see, I have something. A book. Not just a book, a notebook, written by Randolph Symes, one of the founders of the Phoenix Project. A great man ahead of his time. I'm sure it would be invaluable for you, and I'm willing to trade. Alright. Research, 125. I like it. And we can uh, trade two for 12. That's good. Uh, four for six, fine by me. Nine for two, not so much. Yeah, we're focusing on economy now. <clears throat> Damn it, ran out of uh, the right resource here. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. 8 for 2, good trade for us. Nine for two, still a good trade. Yeah, I should have traded tech. Um, okay, we want. Uh, f f no, we didn't want uh, training here. We wanted to have that guy. Yes, please, and yes, please. Okay. No, those are not acceptable terms, I'm sorry. But we can start uh, looking for a couple more interesting spots. We can finally uh, explore everything in the US. Ten for two. Yeah, that's not good terms either. The nine for two is fine, but I want uh, to keep that resource. Wait, we're only getting nine out of here. Damn it. Good, starting to explore. Wow, it's just trading intensive. Uh, 
that's the trade I was looking for and I think we can uh, get our soldier here which is another technician and we're putting them into where would we want to put them um, I want to have someone in we could finish our team in born in the USA that would be eight people there that's a very fitting uh, one soon we need to get enough resources to actually get vehicles of helios produced so i need more uh, materials and in terms of overall uh, personnel we wanted to have four teams with eight um, which means we're looking at 32 we got eight here 14 20, um, 21, 22, 23, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so that's 30, which means we have room for two more resources, am I right? So it's a full team, this team is lacking two, this team is lacking two, so we're four short, three short of the accounting for that, two short um, of the accounting for that. Uh, these two, if we were to fill them onto the top teams, would just make up uh, for a full three squads. And then we do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're actually one uh, short, unless I miscalculated. So. Unfortunately, that's the one criticism that I do have. The classes, it's much cleaner in XCOM where you can sort by classes, get kind of a roster. So we got one technician, two technicians, three technicians. Potentially need one more. We got one priest, two priests, three priests, and four priests so we're okay on the priests we just need one more technician if i see that guy popping out uh, somewhere like up here and we're making our way up there good moving over Let's trade here. We want more of that and a bit more of that. So we're actually good. And we're now moving into the base because we want everybody to recover. Two for 12, good deal, I'll take that. Good, we've now reached the base, which means our main uh, team here can chill in frozen circuit, just get their stuff done whilst we are flying over and trading a bit more. The one thing that I notice is you just got to keep on trading the entire time. Two for ten, we'll take that. Uh, still trying to get to that threshold. Two for twelve, that's excellent. I think we're above the threshold now. And we can just put a Helios into the queue. Now we're, of course, as always, super low on all of the other resources. And I don't want to trade with those terms. Moving back. Born in the USA will be attacked by Pandorans. That's a really, really, really bad timing for that. Um, 
That's a really bad timing. Um, we don't even have armor. Manufacturing. Getting armor would take a while, unless we're just slapping on like the absolute basic stuff. This here seems like really poor armor, swamp cat like armor. And the question is, do we want to use that poor armor? I'm just looking at time, really. Gives a bit of accuracy, not very fast, but it's better than no armor. So that's three hours, right? Right. And... Uh, don't want to uh, waste the Helios if possible can we scrap certain items what would be a good item to scrap perfect item would be something where we do have multiples of okay, that will give us Scrap item, okay, cool. Um, hmm. Well, we got a nice assault rifle, I'm not going to scrap that. We will need materials in the next few hours uh, to build basically more swamp armor quite a bit of materials so any large materials we could uh, take the Goliath and one and scrap that or our assault rifles we got a sniper I'd rather like to keep that one because it's actually quite good I think we can scrap that. Good, that gives us a hundred. Enough for now. Uh, if we were to manufacture a bit more, that'll buy us two more hours here and we'll need we'll definitely need more materials so what can we do in order to get more materials and by the way um, how can we solve uh, that problem so we have a an old base here we're definitely moving to uh, to continue to explore uh, and then move back because uh, with the exploration uh, we can still harvest resources um, shortly moving back trade here two for nine is not a good trade What's the right base to get a good trade um, off? Haven Info. Well, 
We already have traded with all of these guys. We're running out of trading options. That's unfortunate. So Mandicore 3 has an entire team on it, right? Yes, we do. Haven in for here. Hmm. Where do I see how many resources they do have? I am actually not. Um... Good, move to here. We start exploring. Let's trade. Uh... I don't want to trade away that resource. Damn it, that uh, I'm too greedy. I we need to move to here. All right. Finally, we got materials that is so good. Let's start uh, equipping the personnel in born in the USA. And we're going to see what is needed. So you get a good sniper, put ammo in it, and we're good. Uh, you get that, and we need Banshee body armor. So how long does uh, Banshee take? Seven hours. Hmm. We might not have that much time. I'll come, we'll revisit that in a second. So, Sniper could use some proper armor. We just do have normal armor at the moment. Good, next up. Heavy, fully equipped. Looks good. Gets medkit. Need to increase hit points. Uh, by the way, here 140 hit points. Definitely not going to cut it. Need to increase hit points as well. Good. It's not encumbered, so that is good. Thinking about whether or not, like, how do these two stack up? Hundred eighty versus well, we do have more shredding on the uh, Deceptor MG. Effective range, however, is better on the auto cannon. I think we're just leaving the auto cannon. We need all resources at the moment for other stuff. So, got the independent sniper rifle, which absolutely does does not meet minimum standards for us. Okay, instead we're taking uh, the Phoenix sniper rifle, which isn't too bad. The independent one is actually not that good. And we can scrap one, which gives us further resources. It's a dire situation. And we need med packs and a lot of other stuff. Oh yeah, we definitely need a lot of other stuff. How much does it cost to manufacture? Too much tech. So we could uh, give her the new Jericho sniper. Scrap that one. And 
her pistol ammunition. Yeah, we are short on the other ammo. Okay, we're majorly lacking. We're majorly lacking ammunition. So we need more uh, tech as a resource as well. Julius here, what does he do? Frenzy is good, at least we're fast. Takes a healing kit and we got a technician here. Almost no equipment. Well, fantastic. Do we at least have a big, uh, mm, a big vehicle uh, there? No, apparently not. Can we shift birdie? No, we can't shift that either. Actually, would need to fly them over, and we don't have a de uh, have an air connection yet. So they are pretty much on their own as it stands. And we did have Mendicore 4 with Nicholas here. Good. We need we need a lot of armor. Uh, in in that case, looks a bit like a bounty hunter, but better than no armor. We at least got someone on them. Uh, and I need to continue manufacturing that armor. And we need something that gives us a lot of tech to scrap. Don't want to give up that weapon. Maybe we can scrap a bit here. I also don't want to go all, go all out with uh, scrapping items. Uh, armor. Not the Swamp Legs, that will buy us another hour. Okay, that's actually helping us and I tell you what, we're filling up our, our resources with harvesting some of these guys. We had a lot of Arthrons. Just getting more resources, really. Have some tritons, some arthrons, a siren, poison worms, mind fragers. That's okay. We're we're good. We're doing fine. Now we can finally start the manufacturing. Um, how much is really missing? So, first of all, the weapons because they are kind of the lifeline of what we're trying to do. Armor only helps you so much if you don't have weapons. The enemies will never die. That's my logic behind it, so... Technician. Well, fantastic. What kind of equipment can we give you? I think non-proficient, normal arrows, just the absolute basic version. You won't be great with it, but it'll be okay for now.
And Manticore 4. More ammunition. Good. So far, so good. Now, we're still trying to do the production of the armor. That should give us enough time. So now, manufacturing um, armor, quickest armor. One, two. One, two. Good, we got two body armors, two swamp legs going. How much is missing? That's what I needed to answer. So you are perf uh, uh, you are fully kitted out and we do have one helmet, one leg. Two helmet, two leg, one torso. Three helmet, three leg, one torso. Um, three helmet, three torso, four legs. Three helmet, uh, five torso, six legs. Four helmet, six torso, seven legs. Oh boy, that is not going to be great. Oh. Let's start to give you already kind of your clothes. But we need to continue trading. No, no trading here. I need that. 19 hours. Trade um, some resources, not all, and we wanted to move there. New recruit has joined Phoenix uh, Project. Well, that is cool, but what is that new recruit? Oh, that's a technician. Even better. For, no, wait, it's not. That was an old recruit. Uh, that was a assault. Well, that's good. Uh, we can live with that. Uh, we're down to 15 hours. So this is Manticore 1, moving back because we're picking up our soldiers. Manticore 3. Trades for resources and I will slaughter a couple more of you guys. Harvest, yes. Harvest, yes. be a big fat harvest. The mine triggers were difficult to get. I'm not going to just harvest them. Okay, manufacture. Good. 
Uh, now that we've traded here, we've pretty much exhausted our resources. Um, moving to here. 13 hours. We still have time for another exploration. Can't really trade for anything worthwhile here. But I wanted to get the engineer. Um, well, we're, our roster is full. I don't want to fill it up even more. Um, good, Mandicore 1, almost there. Good, personal in here should be fine and ready to go. Yeah, almost ready to go. Mandicore, 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 and Mandicore. Good, because you guys are now going and are teaching these aliens a valuable lesson, not to F with us. Mandicore 3 is already here, might as well move there and help researching. Oh, we can go all the way there. Can we actually go to here? We can. Good. Well, that changes everything. At Fort Kuala, Tobias West's speech is being broadcast. Uh, West explains New Jericho's concept of loyalty. That's good. Uh, we actually need him to like us a bit more, but I'm not sure if we praise the speech what the impact would be. Let's respectfully just let that continue. Oh, we're down to 22. Uh, food that is not really good. Oh, here. oh, we improved our scanning. There are two colonies uh, there. Wow, okay, we got two more colonies. Well, there is plenty of opportunity in the United States. We are a bit resource starved. Good. That should uh, give us all of uh, the power that we need. And let's do that and that. And that and that. And we should be okay ish. Good. So, personal. Armor. Um, yeah, we don't have a lot of helmets at the moment. Sorry. Imagine joining like the organization and then they tell you Yeah, you don't get your own armor for now All right, wait, uh, 
just double checking. So we got everybody equipped, right? The only person not equipped here is Isabella. And we could get her absolute basic equipment. She would potentially make for a good soldier just with that. Uh, manufacturing. Before we're continuing to manufacture random stuff, what is really missing? Um, currently as is, missing is one helmet, two helmets, three helmets, four helmets. This means, scratch all of that, get the V materials back. One, two, three. Uh, yeah, we're a little bit short on materials. Okay, one more hour until the attack happens. Just double checking. Looks good to me. Looks a little bit encumbered. We might want to upgrade the stats of the soldiers as well, Saiken. is super important. But so are hit points. And Medicore 4. Bring these guys back to Bourne in the USA then it's easier to work with them. Spend all of his points and we don't have any armor left over. A little bit more hit points here and there are helpful. And yeah, that's pretty much it guys. So. I'm uh, bracing for the attack and that'll happen in the next episode. Thank you for watching. If you brace yourself for an attack as well, the like button is always there to support uh, the Born in the USA uh, squad. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.